Hello friends. Welcome to Yon Triki. I am going to discuss Office 365 PowerShell installation and usage, which lets you to manage your Office 365 Admin Center settings from the command line. Connecting to Office 365 PowerShell is a simple three-step process where you install the required software, run the required software, and then connect to your Office 365 organization. Make sure you have following Windows flavors. Windows 10 Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 Windows Server 2012 or Windows Server 2012 R2 However, for Windows 7 Service Pack 1 and Windows Server 2008 R2 SP1 You need to install the Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5 or later and then either the Windows Management Framework 3.0 or the Windows Management Framework 4.0. Use a 64-bit version of Windows. Support for the 32-bit version the Windows Azure Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell was discontinued in October, 2014. Install the 64-bit version of the Microsoft Online Services Sign-in Assistant for IT Professionals RTW. The download link is mentioned below. Next to it, install the 64-bit version of the Windows Azure Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell by opening the Azure Active Directory connection web page, using the link mentioned. Files can be downloaded using the Download Manager tool, which is compatible with operating systems. Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. This tool enables multi-file downloads. In Files and Download at the bottom of the page, click Download for the Administration Config, v1.1.166.0ga, MSI file, and then install it. Find and open the Windows Azure Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell. On the Start menu, enter Azure in the Search Programs and Files box. In the Results, Select Windows Azure Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell. Run it as an administrator. To connect with an admin account run. Connect, Missile Service. In the Windows Azure Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell. In the Azure Active Directory PowerShell dialog box, type your Office 365 work or school account username and password, and then click Sign In. If the multi-factor authentication MFA, is activated for your account, follow the instructions in the Azure Active Directory PowerShell dialog box to provide additional authentication information, such as a verification code, and then click Sign In. If you don't receive any errors, you connected successfully. A quick test is to run an Office 365 commandlet for example, get missole user and see the results. Hope this video helped you in connecting with Windows Azure Active Directory Module PowerShell. Please share this video and comment on it. Hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more videos. You can click the bell button for the notifications. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.